Now, you know that I'm very critical of the president um, for a lack of leadership from the start of this pandemic, which I think continues. And of course, it's difficult because you work in theory for the president. And uh, I feel that many of you on uh, many occasions actually wanted to take more leadership and be, as, as uh, Dr. Hahn mentioned, or Commissioner Hahn, fully cognizant of the data and the science. So it's difficult because I'm gonna ask you questions about the president's lack of leadership, and I know it's hard for you to answer those, so we'll see. But I do believe the president is encouraging behaviors that are not consistent with good public health, such as encouraging thousands to attend a rally and not mandate the wearing of masks. And I can't imagine that NIH or CDC would suggest this is a best practice in the face of this pandemic. So it's sort of like there's two versions of reality here. One's the president's, and one's hopefully yours based on data and science. Uh, but I want to hear from the experts. So let me start with Dr. Fauci. You are a trusted voice and have always been candid with us and the American public. Give us an unvarnished view of where we are at our fight uh, against COVID-19, quickly, if you can. Uh, thank you very much for that question, Mr. Chairman. It really is a mixed bag. We have a very large country, very heterogeneous, major differences, for example, between the New York metropolitan area and Casper, Wyoming. Uh, if you look at how we've been hit, we've been hit badly. I mean, anybody who looks at the numbers, we've had now over 120,000 deaths and we've had two and a half million infections. So it's a serious situation. In some respects, we've done very well. Right now, for example, the New York metropolitan area, which has been hit extraordinarily hard, has done very well in bringing the cases down and using the guidelines that we have very carefully put together in a stepwise fashion to try and carefully reopen their city and their state. However, in other areas of the country, we're now seeing a disturbing surge of infections that looks like it's a combination, but one of the things is an increase in community spread. And that's something that I'm really quite concerned about that. And you know that this has been something that's been in the press over the past couple of days, where we were going down from 30,000 to 25 to 20, and now we sort of stayed about flat, and now we're going up. A couple of days ago, there were 30,000 new infections. That's very troublesome to me. The way you address that, and I've said this over and over again, is you have to have the manpower, the system, the testing to identify, isolate, and contact trace in an effective way so that when you see those increases, you can understand where they're coming from and you can do something about them. Right now, the next couple of weeks are gonna be critical in our ability to address those surgings that we're seeing in Florida, in Texas, in Arizona, and in other states. They're not the only ones that are having a difficulty. Bottom line, Mr. Chairman, it's a mixed bag. Some good and some now we have a problem with. All right, now I'm gonna to have to ask about the president because you talked about testing and how important it is. And I, you know, Avril Gerard and I know how important it is. At his rally over the weekend, the president said, and I quote, when you do testing to that extent, you're going to find more people, you're going to find more cases. So I said to my people, slow the testing down, please, unquote. And this morning he said he meant this. So Dr. Fauci, do you agree with that? Does it make sense that to safely open our economy, we should be limiting the number of tests rather than ensuring that anyone who needs a test can get one? And you don't have to mention the president, I did, but tell us about the testing. And your microphone is on. Sorry. I, as a member of the task force and my colleagues on the task force, to my knowledge, I know for sure, but to my knowledge, none of us have ever been told to slow down on testing. That just is a fact. In fact, we will be doing more testing, as you've heard from Admiral Girard, not only testing to specifically identify people in the identify, isolate, and contact trace, but also much more surveillance if you want to get your arms around and understand exactly what's going on in community spread. So it's the opposite. We're going to be doing more testing, not less.